William will Connor pace the small, cluttered control room on Mars, eyes fixed on the monitors displaying a flurry of unusual signals. A brilliant Canadian engineer with a knack for deciphering the inscrutable, Will had seen many anomalies in his time, but this was different. The screens flashed with patterns that suggested a sophisticated intelligence, something far beyond the ordinary glitches of space communications. Sarah, you need to see this, Will called out, his voice tense yet controlled. Dr. Sarah Mitchell, a British scientist known for her groundbreaking work in quantum mechanics, joined him. Her sharp eyes scanned the data, her brow furrowing in concentration. These signals are highly structured, Sarah said, her voice laced with concern. This isn't random. Someone or something er is trying to communicate. Their apprehensions were soon validated. The signals, originating from beyond the solar system, painted a clear picture. An extraterrestrial civilization was observing Earth. Will and Sarah, driven by a shared sense of duty, began to decode the messages, unraveling a sinister plan. We need to inform General Daniels, Will decided, referring to the pragmatic and seasoned military leader stationed on Earth. General Thomas Daniels had always been a reliable ally, one who could mobilize defenses swiftly and decisively. The message was encrypted and sent through secure channels. Back on Earth, General Daniels reviewed the incoming data with a grim expression. His military intuition screamed danger, and he immediately convened a high-level meeting with his top strategists. The aliens, he deduced, were preparing to invade, and Earth's defenses had to be reinforced immediately. Meanwhile, on the planet Xander, the Galactic Council assembled in their opulent chamber. High Chancellor Zorath, an imposing figure with a cold, calculating demeanor, addressed the council. His voice resonated through the hall as he outlined the proposal to subjugate humanity highlighting Earth's resources and strategic value. Humanity must be brought to heal, Zorath declared, his tone brooking no opposition. Their planet holds untapped potential, and their resistance will be futile against our might. Ambassador Leora of the Elorians, however, raised a note of caution. We should not underestimate them. History has shown that desperate beings can become formidable adversaries. The Council debated fiercely, with Zorath ultimately swaying the majority to his side. They authorized an expeditionary force to gauge Earth's defenses and prepare for full-scale subjugation. On Mars, Will, Sarah, and their team worked tirelessly to develop countermeasures. They understood that Earth's survival depended on their ability to outthink and outmaneuver an enemy far superior in technology and numbers. They devised strategies, blending Earth's diverse resources with human ingenuity, aiming to create an unpredictable and resilient defense. The tension mounted as the alien scouting vessel entered Earth's atmosphere. Will and his team monitored its descent, coordinating with General Daniels to intercept the intruders. The first confrontation was swift and intense. Earth's defenders, though initially outmatched, managed to capture one of the aliens, revealing crucial intelligence about the impending invasion. In the aftermath of the skirmish, Will and Sarah interrogated the captive alien. The creature's revelations were chilling, detailing the Galactic Council's plans and the sheer scale of the forces arrayed against humanity. They knew they had little time to prepare. We need to unify our efforts globally, Will stated, urgency in his voice. Every nation must contribute to the defense. We have to leverage every bit of knowledge and technology we possess. General Daniels, already mobilizing his forces, communicated with world leaders, stressing the dire need for a united front. Nations set aside their differences, pooling resources and expertise in a desperate bid to protect their home. Will Connor adjusted the frequency on his communication device, eyes narrowing at the incoming transmission. The encoded message confirmed his worst fears. The alien scouting vessel had breached Earth's atmosphere. Beside him, Dr. Sarah Mitchell double-checked the data, her face reflecting the gravity of their situation. We don't have much time, Sarah muttered, her voice barely audible over the hum of machinery. We need to intercept them before they gather too much intelligence. Will nodded, already formulating a plan. I'll alert General Daniels. We'll need all the firepower we can muster. Miles away, General Thomas Daniels was rallying his troops. 
the veteran commander known for his strategic acumen had seen his fair share of crises, but this was unprecedented. He received Will's transmission and immediately coordinated a response team, directing them to the projected landing site of the alien vessel. As the alien ship descended, its sleek, menacing form cut through the sky like a knife. Will, Sarah, and a small contingent of elite soldiers positioned themselves around the anticipated landing zone, hidden within the dense forest. The vessel touched down with a low, throbbing hum, its hatch slowly opening to reveal the alien scouts. They were humanoid but taller, with elongated limbs and a strange, iridescent sheen to their skin. Their eyes, large and black, scanned the surroundings with a cold, analytical precision. Will signaled to his team, and they moved into position. The aliens, seemingly unaware of the human's presence, began setting up equipment, likely to relay information back to their fleet. Sarah, ever the scientist, couldn't help but marvel at the advanced technology, even as she prepared to engage in combat. General Daniels gave the go-ahead, and the ambush commenced. Explosions and gunfire erupted, catching the aliens off guard. The initial skirmish was fierce but brief. Earth's defenders had the element of surprise. One of the aliens was captured a testament to the team's efficiency and coordination. Interrogation of the captive alien began almost immediately. The creature's resistance was formidable, but eventually, it succumbed to the combined efforts of Sarah's intellect and General Daniel's tactical pressure. The information it divulged was chilling. The Galactic Council's forces were vast and well-coordinated, and this scout was just the first wave. We have to prepare for a full-scale invasion, Will said his voice resolute. This was just a prelude. The real threat is yet to come. Back on Xander, the Galactic Council monitored the scout's data with growing interest. High Chancellor Zorith, satisfied with the preliminary findings, pushed for the next phase of their plan. Despite Ambassador Leora's continued warnings, Zorith was convinced of humanity's vulnerability and saw the planet's resources as too valuable to ignore. On Earth, the captured aliens' revelations galvanized the human leadership. Global alliances were quickly reinforced, and preparations for defense accelerated. Will and Sarah worked around the clock, developing countermeasures and innovative strategies to combat the alien technology. We need to turn their strengths into weaknesses, Sarah suggested, examining the alien tech they had retrieved. If we can disrupt their communications, it could give us a critical advantage. Will agreed. We'll need to integrate our technology with theirs. It's a gamble, but it might just work. As days turned into weeks, the atmosphere grew increasingly tense. The world watched the skies, aware that the true battle was imminent. Will and Sarah's tireless efforts began to bear fruit as their team developed a method to interfere with the alien communication network. The preparations, the alliances forged, and the strategies developed would all be put to the test. The battle for Earth's future was about to begin in earnest, with the stakes higher than ever before. Will Connor scanned the horizon through the haze of Earth's atmosphere. The alien fleet was approaching, and the sky was filled with ships, each one a testament to the Galactic Council's formidable power. Will's heart raced, but his mind remained focused. He knew that the survival of humanity hinged on their next moves. General Thomas Daniel stood beside him, his face a mask of calm determination. We need to hit them where it hurts, he said, his voice steady. Their command ship. If we can disable it, we might stand a chance. Dr. Sarah Mitchell joined them, her eyes sharp and calculating. We've developed a way to interfere with their communication systems, she reported. But we'll need to get close enough to deploy it. Will nodded, taking in the gravity of the situation. We have to do this right, he said. Timing and precision are everything. As the first wave of alien ships descended, Earth's defenses sprang into action. Anti-aircraft batteries roared to life, missiles streaking through the sky to meet the invaders. The initial clash was brutal and chaotic, with explosions lighting up the horizon. Will's team, armed with the knowledge and technology they'd painstakingly gathered, moved with purpose. Will and Sarah boarded a stealth aircraft, heading straight for the heart of the alien fleet. The craft was a marvel of human engineering, 
designed to evade detection and deliver their disruptive payload. As they approached the command ship, the enormity of their task became clear. The alien vessel loomed ahead, a fortress bristling with defenses. We're going to need a distraction, Will muttered, glancing at Sarah. She nodded, her fingers dancing over the controls as she activated the stealth system. On the ground, General Daniels coordinated a feint, directing a significant portion of Earth's forces to draw the alien defenses away from the command ship. The tactic worked, if only for a brief window, but it was enough. Will's craft slipped through the perimeter, undetected by the alien sensors. They docked with the alien ship, their stealth suits rendering them nearly invisible as they infiltrated the interior. The corridors of the vessel were a maze of advanced technology, pulsating with an eerie, organic glow. Will led the way, his instincts honed by years of experience in hostile environments. We need to reach the central core, Sarah whispered, her voice barely audible over the hum of the ship. That's where we'll do the most damage. They navigated the labyrinthine passages, avoiding patrols and security systems. Each step was fraught with peril, but they pressed on, driven by the knowledge that failure was not an option. Finally, they reached the core, a massive chamber filled with alien machinery and the throbbing heart of the ship systems. Here goes nothing, Will said, setting up the device Sarah had designed. It would send a feedback loop through the ship's communication array, effectively crippling their command and control capabilities. As the device activated, the ship shuddered, lights flickering as the feedback loop began to take effect. Alarms blared, and the once-organized alien forces were thrown into disarray. Will and Sarah moved quickly, retreating the way they had come as the alien ship struggled to maintain its systems. Back on the ground, the effect was immediate. The alien fleet faltered, their coordination broken. Earth's forces seized the advantage, pressing the attack with renewed vigor. General Daniels watched the tide turn, a rare smile crossing his face. We did it, Sarah whispered as they boarded their craft and sped away from the crippled command ship. We actually did it, but as they rejoined the fight, it became clear that the battle was far from over. The Galactic Council's forces, though disoriented, were still a significant threat. Will knew that the war for Earth had entered a new phase, one that would test their resolve and ingenuity to the limit. Will Connor and Dr. Sarah Mitchell watched from the command center as the alien fleet staggered in confusion. The disruption they had caused within the enemy's ranks was working. However, the alien forces, though disoriented, began to regroup. General Thomas Daniels' voice crackled over the intercom, coordinating the counterattack with a precision that had become his hallmark. All units, press forward. We can't give them time to recover, Daniels commanded. The battle for Earth's future was intensifying, each moment critical. We'll turn to Sarah, who was meticulously analyzing the data streams from their disrupted device. We've bought ourselves some time, but it's not enough, she said. We need a more permanent solution to disable their fleet. Will nodded, his mind racing. We need to take out their central command structure. If we can cripple their flagship, it might throw their entire operation into disarray. Sarah's eyes lit up with realization. The command ship's power core. If we can overload it, the resulting feedback could incapacitate their entire fleet. The plan was risky, but it was their best shot. They relayed the plan to General Daniels, who immediately began organizing a strike team. Will and Sarah prepared to board another stealth craft, this time with a more deadly payload. As they launched towards the command ship, the sky lit up with the fire of ongoing battles. Earth's forces, now bolstered by the success of their initial strike, were holding their ground against the alien onslaught. Will felt a surge of pride at humanity's resilience. The stealth craft slipped through the fray, approaching the command ship undetected. Inside the alien vessel, the corridors were a hive of activity. Will and Sarah moved swiftly, their familiarity with the ship's layout from their previous infiltration giving them an edge. They reached the power core, a massive structure pulsating with energy. Sarah set the charges, her hands steady despite the stakes. Will kept watch, his senses heightened, ready to react at the first sign of trouble. As the last charge was set, an alien patrol rounded the corner. 
Will sprang into action, neutralizing the threat before it could raise an alarm. Sarah activated the detonator's timer, and they made their escape, racing against the clock. Back on Earth, General Daniels monitored the situation, his eyes never leaving the tactical displays. The alien fleet began to falter, their ships losing cohesion. The feedback from the overloaded power core rippled through their systems, causing widespread malfunctions. The command ship erupted in a spectacular explosion, a beacon of hope for Earth's defenders. The alien fleet, now leaderless and in disarray, began to retreat. General Daniels seized the moment, ordering a full offensive to drive the invaders back. Will and Sarah's craft returned to Earth, greeted by cheers from the ground forces. They had succeeded, but the cost had been high. The battlefield was littered with the debris of both human and alien technology, a stark reminder of the price of survival. As the dust settled, Will, Sarah, and General Daniels gathered to assess the aftermath. The immediate threat had been averted, but they knew that this victory was only the beginning of a larger struggle. The Galactic Council would not take this defeat lightly. Sarah spoke first, her voice weary but resolute. We need to strengthen our defenses. They'll be back, and next time, they'll be prepared for our tactics. Will agreed. We also need to forge alliances with other species who oppose the Council. We can't stand alone against their might. General Daniels nodded, his expression grim. We've proven that we can fight back, but we need to be ready for the next wave. Let's use this time to rebuild and prepare.